welcome to another lecture on the PYQ session of the UGC Net Economics paper of the last year. Now, in the last year, there were various concepts which were asked from various modules. We are going to look at a macroeconomics module concept that was asked in the latest paper. So, let us look at the question first. Now here we have the question, now let's analyze what the question is firstly. What type of relationship the Phillips curve postulates between the rate of unemployment and rate of increase of money wages? Now it's a very simple concept but there are some tricky things that have been introduced in this very simple, very basic concept or very basic question. So let us look at what are these tricky things. Okay, firstly Phillips curve. Phillips curve is a very important concept because it is not just a basic concept but through the concept of Phillips curve you also go through the various other concepts like stagflation then you'll understand the um, neutral or um, uh, neutral rate of unemployment then you can also understand the concept of Nairu. So there are various concepts then the, the various um, concepts of Phillips curve which were given by other economists. So there are line of concepts which have been introduced through just one small term of Phillips curve. But firstly, who introduced this? So, we know that A.W. Phillips was the one who had introduced the concept of Phillips curve majorly during the time of 1970s, okay. But gradually, uh, due to the concept of stagflation that rose through during that time um, and of course later the Phillips curve was then quite questioned by various other economists and then the Phillips curve was highly moderated, modulated or changed. Initially the concept lied between these two concepts that have also been mentioned in the question. So the relationship between the rate of unemployment firstly and the rate of increase of the money wages rate of increase of the money wages what will what will happen if the money wages actually increase you will demand more and when the demand will be more the rate of inflation will be more so it's like an indirect concept that has been mentioned but te technically they are talking about inflation only okay they are talking about inflation so the phillips curve posture so do not think that Okay, Phillips curve, I had read an unemployment rate and inflation rate, but these this is something different. No, it's not different. It's very conceptualized. It's like a trail of concepts that have been presented. Now that we know that whatever they have been asking in the question is very simple, very basic. Now, what are the options available? Direct and proportional, direct, inverse and proportional, inverse. Now, something that trick makes this question tricky is this proportional part. Okay, so learning the terminologies is fine, but coordinating, linking the terminologies with different concepts, knowing different terms just out of curiosity is very, very important. Okay, now let's begin with the drawing of the Phillips curve. So let's say that we have two lines of the graph. Okay. We have this, we have the two lines of the graph, okay. And now we are going to draw the Phillips curve. But before that, we are going to also note what does this graph represent. So on the x-axis, on the x-axis, we are going to have the unemployment rate, okay. So here we have the unemployment rate. Okay, rate means percentage of unemployment um, in the country. And then when we look at the y-axis, on the y-axis we are going to have the rate of inflation. Rate of inflation. Again a percentage. This is also percentage and this is also percentage. Okay, now according to the Phillips curve, the first initial concept of the Phillips curve, the rate of inflation and the rate of unemployment has an inverse relationship. Okay, inverse relationship which means what? That now the concept 
before drawing the curve let me also look at the concept uh, or uh, elucidate the concept why did uh, a w phillips say that there is a re inverse relationship between rate of inflation and rate of unemployment so he basically gave the idea that when the growth happens in the economy when growth happens gdp increases the per capita income is also going to increase and this is going to give rise to more demand and when the demand increases because this disposable income has increased so demand will increase about the commodities and when that will happen it will give rise to inflationary trend we usually see that when the purchasing power is more for people people will demand more commodities and gradually they are going to become a little bit expensive we are not talking about hyper inflation we are just talking about a small level of inflation let's say walking inflation in the economy right so this rate of inflation when the rate of inflation increases now what is happening over here why this is this is increasing people are getting more amount of employment opportunities because of which people are um, let's say people have more purchasing power so when the rate of unemployment decreases the rate of inflation increases in correlation with growth in the economy okay many a times this concept is been taken initial concept has been taken in a negative connotation but it's not like that aw phillips was looking at the growth perspective okay now because we are to represent the negative relationship between these two variables obviously the graph is going to be a downward sloping curve okay so let's say if we are on this point a okay so if the unemployment rate decreases which means because of growth in the economy when the unemployment rate will decrease people will get more empowered more employed obviously they will have more money and because of that they will demand for more commodities and because of that the inflation rate is going to it's going to get increased okay so here we decrease the amount of unemployment rate let's say u1 and u2 and here we had um, i1 i2 so this increased okay so here we the relationship goes like that okay and of course vice versa so this concept was basically given for the inverse relationship negative relationship opposite relationship whatever you want to call it uh, however the terminology proportional which has been used over here would definitely confuse anybody okay because if initially you are learning macroeconomics you might as well think okay the relationship is inverse but probably it's also proportional you know who knows but be before that before before coming to your answer coming to your conclusion you must also know what proportional actually means ultimately we know that the relationship is inverse so the answer is between c and d but technically why it's not proportional relationship so proportional relationship is basically equality in the relative proportions okay for example you have two lines okay now two lines let's let me say that line a line a is half of line b line a is half of line b so here we have introduced a proportion between a and b half of something double of something multiple of something will be proportional relationship but that is not possible when we talk from the point of view of two macroeconomic indicators like unemployment rate and inflation rate of course it's not possible inflation rate will increase according to the demand and supply perspective unemployment rate will um, decrease or increase according to the growth in the con economy according to the vacancies available opportunities of employment available so both have different indicators or sub indicators because of which both cannot have a proportional relationship and which is why the correct answer to this question is that 
what type of relationship the Phillips curve postulates between the rate of unemployment and the rate of increase of money wages or inflation rate, we are just going to say inverse relationship. Okay, many a times because of looking at a longer answer or a longer option, you may or might as well think that that's the correct option, but that's just a trick that has been played. It's actually just inverse relationship. Okay, so with this, we end with the question that we have done. Uh, I hope that you are now much more informed about the concept of macroeconomics of the Phillips curve. We are going to bring to you more of such PYQs. Uh, till then, goodbye and keep liking our videos. We are going to update videos every day for your updation, for your knowledge, for your information on economics and on various other topics as well. So keep updated and stay tuned to Ecoholics. Thank you.